Yes, I am very superstitious. I have to do like a certain like stretch routine. I have to like wear certain things. And I think, and what the problem is, if we're having a good year, more and more things are added to like what I got to do before the event starts, you know, from like what I did the last event or whatever. It starts to get to be a pretty long list of things I got to eat and how much and trying to like, you know, get in the car at this time and do the burnout for this long and just worrying way too much about little stuff. I, I wouldn't say that, you know, doing the pre-race rituals and stuff is any sort of like zen or yoga type thing that some people might think it is. It's just like caught up in my head like, oh, I gotta, I gotta stretch before I get in the car and then I gotta, you know, like check this and check that and it's like, and it becomes, seems like more of like a superstition or a ritual than, than like pre-race checks, if you know what I mean. A lot of people like see our team as like a grassroots type team. I mean, although we do have, you know, like big sponsors and, you know, like a big rig and everything, but it's still just, I guess you could say the road that we took or the path that led us to where we are here is just, you know, I'm just a kid from the streets that, you know, love drifting, love sliding cars around, you know, dragging my own car around, trying to make all the events and just, you know, slowly getting, you know, helped along the way and that just turned into the amount of effort that we put into that and the results that we got you know was seen by you know some of our sponsors and they you know stepped up you know for our team effort as you know we did try and make the events and make it on the podium. At the end of the 2005 season, Nissan approached us and told us that they wanted us to get back into a 350Z. And you know, we were obviously into the idea. You know, I started off uh, Formula D and a Z, and we wanted to get back into it as well. So once we kind of decided to go that route, we wanted to make it, you know, something that was going to get good power but be reliable. Because V8 is is awesome. That car runs so much better than our turbo four-cylinder 350Z. And just like slowly but surely upgrading it throughout the years and we're at a max of about 385 wheel right now. We've uh, basically kind of learned to drive that car with the power that it makes, which is almost half of what some of the other you know V8 like chassis cars are and I think that actually uh, really helps me and you know the way that I you know prefer to drive cars with the V8 you have so much torque and response but with it being uh, you know lower horsepower than some of the other cars you just really get to roll into the throttle and just wind up the motor you know at low speed and just get a lot of uh, you know wheel speed and smoke and angle out of it without you know having to uh, worry too much about you know throttle adjustment it's much easier to control 385 wheel than you know 600 wheel I think my favorite part about drifting is just the the sheer feeling of, you know, like driving the car sideways, I mean, that's what's always drawn me to it and why I got into it is, uh, you know, just rolling into the throttle, you know, going through a corner and letting the back end come out. And that's just slowly progressed into, like, you know, just running around with your friends and trying to, like, kind of outdo each other. And I think, like, as of right now, like, my favorite thing to do with drifting is just like, a practice day and just hang out with your friends and just, you know, running through courses together and not having to worry about competition, you know, when you're going back to just 
you know, the excitement of drifting and not worrying about how you're placing. It's just doing it because you love it. Thank you.